everything seemed to change from this point. Upon an invitation in the winter of 1956, the Dalai Lama and Panchen Lama went to India for the memorial ceremony of the 2,500th anniversary of Sakyamuni's Nirvana. There were many pro-independence former Tibetan officials present. Two of the Dalai Lama's brothers were also here. These people surrounded the Dalai Lama from the very beginning. They kept working to persuade him to stay in India. The Dalai Lama started to waver again. He considered not returning to Tibet. The Chinese Premier Zhou Enlai, who was visiting India, talked with him and met the people in his entourage. Then Zhou Enlai was very sincere. He said, "You, the Dalai Lama." 从宗教上讲呢，有神的一面。那么神呢，只有在庙里边，也就是神堂吧，啊，才有神气。你一旦你神一旦离开了庙，离开了神堂，就没有什么神气了。那么你的庙，你的神堂，在拉萨，而不在新德里。如果你要留在，印度，那么你可以骂骂共产党，骂共产党啊，丝毫无损于共产党。Once again, the Dalai Lama decided to return to Lhasa. However, he was hesitant and took a long time to journey from India to Lhasa. The Chinese People's Central Government was very cautious about the reform of the Tibetan social system. However, the Tibetan people in other Chinese provinces demanded immediate reform of the old political system. Together, they denounced the oppression and pain the old system had inflicted. They were jubilant in burning the old files in which their deaths were recorded. The shocked masters went together to Lhasa for the Dalai Lama's protection and support. Some of them stayed to plot an armed rebellion. 那么这个时候的话，就从这个时候就思想就有点变化了。就有变化了，我就说他这个人呢，就有变化了。那么这个时候那些分离主义分子啊，些个闹独立的一些人，就要对他加紧包围，加紧什么东西啊？那么这个时候的话呢，呃，就出了叛乱了。The United States started dipping their hands directly into Tibetan affairs. In 1954, the American Central Intelligence Agency started recruiting secret service agents from among disaffected Tibetans. They were trained in Taiwan and sent back to Tibet to create terror and stir up trouble. The organizers for these special agents were the Dalai Lama's brothers Jagmi Thupten Norbu and Jalo Dundab. Jagmi Thupten Norbu himself received such training. Later, the United States trained 170 Kamba guerrillas in Colorado. The Americans smuggled weapons through the borders and also airdropped some to these special agents who returned to Tibet and ordered them to take action immediately. Soon, these people started serving their functions in Tibet. Not only did they assault the offices and armies sent to Tibet by the central government, they also established rebel organization Si Shui Liu Gang and rebel army Religion Guarding Army. They also persuaded people to join them. Uh, 
啊的一些叛乱分子。那么穆娟呢，献了金宝座。It was this political and military organization called Si Shui Liu Gang or Four Rivers and Six Hills that collected donations for the Gold Throne. It was mainly formed by rebels who fled Tibet and Sichuan. They openly collected donations in the streets to enlarge their influence, and the extra money for the Gold Throne went into rebellion coffers. They were the ones who 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 were the 实际上，他这个思想呢，已经啊，受了这种反动那个势力哈、啊、和这个啊西藏独立的这种啊啊，在在他脑子里已经起了不小的作用。但是呢，从表面上来说，他还是拥护统一的爱国的。嗯，所以一直到了一九五九年正式叛乱了。这叛乱呢，这是叛那那当时达赖是个什么态度啊？